Hi everybody and welcome to Mobile Approvals, a made in tech edge UI5 application that allows managers to handle their tasks even when out of office. Tasks can be of nine types, annual leave, expense claim, invoice, purchase order, shopping cart, timesheet, training, project budget, working time. The application can work also when offline, needing connection to synchronize data only. As soon as the application is loaded, I can see a list with the tasks I have to process. By default, tasks are grouped by task type. But I can sort them also by creation date. But I can sort them also by creation date and deadline date. In addition, I can apply filters to see a subset of the possible types. Clicking on an item in the list, details of the task are shown. Task details are divided into three tabs. First tab contains information about the request. Second tab lists all the business data. Third tab gives access to the documents attached to the task. Among request details is the approval history, which shows the log of the approvers that handled the task previously and the actions they took. Requestor data usually include the email address. If I press that line, I am redirected to the email composer and can send him an email. Expense claims often include a location attribute. Clicking on it, a Google Maps centered on the location itself is opened. Some tasks have one or more documents attached. Tapping on the document, on the document line, the file is downloaded and, according to its extension, opened in a specific way. For example, here we have a PDF. Now the PDF is being downloaded. and opened in a PDF view. If I instead go to this task using the navigation arrows, I can see in the list of these attachments, I can try to open this, which is a TIFF file. And uh, I am prompted with a selection of a uh, uh, some application with which I can uh, uh, open the file. Now I decide to open it and uh, uh, attach to attach it to an email. On a task, I can perform three operations: approve it, forward it to someone else, or reject it. If I decide to approve it, tapping on the appropriate button. Tapping on the appropriate button, a confirmation pop-up is prompted. Pressing yes, the application goes back to the list page and sends the request to the backend. When the request is completed, the task is removed from the list and added to the log of processed ones. If I decide to forward the task, I have to select a substitute approver first. This can be either looked for, passing a query string,
or picked among the ones used most recently. Finally, if I want to reject the task, I must specify a reason. This can be either a free text, like in this case, or a predefined option within a list, according to the type of the task. When no connection is available, the task is not immediately submitted but placed in the outbox. When network is back, to send the request it is sufficient that I pull the page down. Certain tasks can, be can also be approved massively. To activate this mode I have to click on the top right button and select the mass approval option. The list is then filtered, showing only the tasks that can be mass approved, and a checkbox appears next to each of them. To handle it more easily, I can exploit the select all and deselect all buttons. Once I have chosen the tasks, I just have to press the bottom right grid button and give a confirmation on the pop-up. To quit mass approval mode, I only have to press the bottom left button. In every application page, pressing on the top right button, I can navigate to Annotation Tool. Annotation Tool is an interesting feature with which I can write on the screenshot of the current page with two colors, blue and red, and highlight parts of it with a yellow marker. When I'm done, I can send my annotations via email. Enough for the mobile approvals. Now I'm going to show the, the Substitutes app, which allows me to define substitution rules for the periods when I won't be available. When started, the list of possible systems is loaded. Pressing on a list item, I can see the list of substitutes already set for that system. For each substitute, I see name and substitution period. If I press on the new rule button, the application brings me to the rule definition page. To create a new rule, I have to define the period, selecting a start and an end date and, of course, the substitute approver. As for approvals, I can choose it either via research or among the list of recent ones. To confirm the rule, I just have to press the save button. The application goes back and I can see the new rule in the list. If I want to remove one or more rules from the list, I must press the bottom left edit button. I can then select the rules to be removed and press the bottom right delete button. Finally, of course, a notation tool is available in this app as well, on all pages. So that was the substitutes as well. Thank you for your attention.